You speak the truth, answered Thorin, recovering his wits. Let us go, I will guide you, not in a thousand years shall I forget the ways of this palace. Then he hailed the others, and they gathered together. And holding their torches above their heads, they passed through the gathering doors, without <coughs> many a backward glass of longing. The glittering mail they had covered again, um, with their old cloaks and their bright helms, with their tattered hoods, and one by one they walked behind Thorin. A line of little lights in the darkness that halted often is listening in fear once more for any rumor of the dragon's coming. Though all the adornments, adornments were long moldered or destroyed, and though all was befouled and basted with the comings and goings of the monster, Thorin knew every passage and um, every turn. They climbed long stairs and turned and um, went down wide echoing ways and turned again and climbed yet more stairs and yet more stairs again. These were smooth, cut out of living rock, bored and fair, um, and up the doors went and they meant they meant no sign of living um thing, only furtive sudgels that left fled from approach their torch fluttering in their um droughts. Their steps were not made all the same for hobbit legs, and Bilbo was feeling that he could go no longer when suddenly the roof sank high and far beyond the reach of their torchlight. A white glimmer could be seen coming through some openings far above, and the air smelled sweeter. Before them, light came dimly through through the great doors that hung twisted on their hinges and half, half burnt. This is the great chamber of Thor, said Thorin, the hall of feasting and of council. Not far off now is the front gate. They passed through the ruined chamber. Tom tables were roti rotting, and the chairs and benches were lying them on their turn, charred and decaying. Skulls and bones were upon the floor, among flagons and bowls, and broken drinking horns um, and dust. As they could came though yet more doors at any the further, and a sound of water fell upon their ears, and the great light grew suddenly more full. There is birth of the running river, um, said Throne. From here it happens to the great. Let us follow it. Out of the dark opening in a rock wall of rock, that there issued a boiling water. It flowed swirling in a narrow cha narrow channel, carved it with bathed straight um, and deep by the coming of ancient hands. Besides, it ran a soft stone paved road wide enough for many men abreast. Swiftly along they ran um, and round a wide seeping turn, and behold, before them stood the broad light of day. In front of these rose a tall ark, which still showing the fragments of old cavern work within. Worn and splintered um, and blackened through it was a misty sun sent it pale between the arms of the mountain, and beams of gold fell on its pavement at the th third sh hold. Um, a whirl of bats frightened from slumber by the smoking torches flared over them as they um as they sprang towards their feet slizzard on stones rubbed smooth and sliz um um slimed by the passing of the dragon now before the water fell noisily outward and forward um um, formed out of towards the valley, they flung their playo torches to the ground and stood gazing out with daling eyes. They saw her coming to the front gate and were looking out upon Dale. Well, said Bilbo, I never expected to be looking out of this door, and I never expected to be so pleased to see it's the sun again and to feel the wind on my face. But ow, this wind is cold. It was a bitter, easily breeze blew with a, a threat of oncoming winter. It swirled over and round the arms of the mountain into the valley and sighed um, among the locks. After their long time in the stewing death of the dragon-haunted caverns, they shivered in the sun. Suddenly, Bilbo realized that he was not only tired but only also hungry, very hungry indeed. It seems to be late morning, he said, and I am supposed um, it is more or less breakfast time. If there is any breakfast to have, but I don't feel that Smog's front doorstep is the safest place for a meal. Do let's go somewhere where we can sit quite for a bit. Quite right, said Balin, and I think I know which way. We should go. 
We ought to make for the old lookout post at southwest corner of the mountain. How far is that? asked the hobbit. Five hours march. I think I should think it was getting rough going. The road from the gate um, along the left ledge of the stream swings all broke up. But look out down there. The river loops suddenly east across the hill in front of the ruined town. At that post point, there was once a bridge. Leading a steep steps, I climbed up the right bank, right bank, and so to a road running towards Ravenhill. There is, or was, um, a path that left the road, or I climbed up to the post. A hard climb to even in the, the old steps on there st are still there. Dear me, grumbled the Hobbit. More walking and more cl climbing without breakfast. I wonder how many breakfasts and other meals we have missed inside the nasty clockless, um, clockless time less hole. As a matter of fact, two nights and the day between had gone by, and not altogether without food since the dragon smashed the magic door. But Bilbo had quite lost count, and it might have been one night or a week of nights of hog he could tell. Come, come, said Thorin, laughing. His spirits had begun to rise again. He ratted the precious stones in his pocket. Don't call my palace a nasty hole. Not you. You wait till it is being clean and redecorated. That won't be, be till Smog's dead, Bilbo grumbly. I mean... In the meanwhile, where is he? I would give a good breakfast to know. I hope he is not up on the mountains looking down at us. The idea disturbed the dwarves mightily, and they quickly de decided that Bilbo and Valium were right. We must move away from here, said Dory. I feel as if his eyes were on my back of my head. It is a cold, lonesome place, said Bomber. There may be drunk drink, but I see no sign of food. A dragon would always be hungry in such parts. Come on, come on, cried the others. Let us follow Balin's path. Under the rocky wall to the right, there was no path, so they chugged around the stones on the left side of the river. Um, and the emptiness and the desolation soon sobbed, sobbed even Thorin, Thorin again. The bridge that Balin was, had spoken of the found, um, found long fallen, um, and the most of its stones were no, now only boulders in the shallow, um, and most of its um stones had spoken of they found um long f and fallen and most of its stones were now only boulders in the shallow noisily steams but they forged um forded um the water without um without without much difficulty and found the ancient steps and climbed the high bank after going a short way till they struck the old road and before um, Long came to a deep dell sheltered among the rocks. There they rested for a while and had such a breakfast as they could. Chiefly cram and water. Um, if you want to know what cram is, I, I can only say that it, I don't know the recipes, but it is biscuitish. Um, keep good identity. Ident 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 it's supposed to be um, sustaining sat um, and is quite... Certainly not extra entertaining, being in fact very uninteresting, interesting except as chewing exercise. It, um, it made by the lake men for long journeys. After that, they went on again, and now the road struck westwards and left the river, and grew shoulder of the south pointing men spurred drew, drew even nearer. At um length, they reached the hill path. It scrambled steeply up, and they. Um, plotted towards slowly one behind another, till at last in the late afternoon they came to the top of the ridge and saw the wintry sun going um, toward down downwards to the west. Here they are found a flat place without a wall on three sides, but back to the north of a rocky face in which there was an opening like a door. From that door there was a wide view east and south and west. Here, said Balin, in the old days we used to always keep watchmen, and the door behind leads the rock went. Rockhen um chamber. There was made here as a guard door. There were um several passes um like it round mountain, but there seemed um small need for watching in these the days of our prosperity. And the dry grads were made of comfortable perhaps otherwise um we might have longer warning of the coming of the dragon, and things might have been different. So here we can um lie hid and sheltered for a while, and can see much without being seen. Um, not much use if he can have been seen coming up here," said Thori, um, who was always, um, who was always looking up the towards the mountain's peak and was expecting to see Smog perched there like a bird on the steeple. We must take our chance of that," said Thorin. 
We c we can go no further today. Here, here, cried Bilbo and flung himself on the ground in the rock chamber. There would have been room for a hundred, and there was a small chamber further in it. More removed from the cold outside, it was quite deserted. Not even wild animals seemed to use have used it in all the days of Smog's domination. Dominion. Um, there they lay their burdens, and some um, some threw themselves down at once and slept. But in the others, some sat near out out their door and discussed their plans. In all the talk, they had perpetually back to one thing: where was Smog? They looked west, and there was nothing. And the east, there was nothing. And in the south, there was no sign of the dragon. But there was a gathered of many birds at that day, meaning gazed and wondered. But they were no nearer to understand it. And when the first cold stars came out.